Noob Saibot will return in Mortal Kombat 1, according to my comment section. Apparently he got leaked or something, but here's the thing, I don't cover leaks on this channel. Plus, how would Noob Saibot even exist in Mortal Kombat 1? Bi Han is still alive last time I checked. And I seriously doubt that Netherrealm is going to kill him off screen simply to justify Noob Saibot being DLC. So if Noob Saibot does return, does that mean he's going to be an entirely new character? Or will he be sucked in from a different timeline? Honestly, this question is such an interesting topic. How could Noob Saibot return in Mortal Kombat 1? There's actually several possibilities that would all make sense, so today we're gonna talk about it. Before getting started, make sure to post your Noob Saibot theories in the comments down below and allow a quick word from today's sponsor. Hey, I've got some exciting news. Today's video sponsor is DraftKings. An official partner of the NFL wants to bring you an awesome deal. If you're new to DraftKings, then listen up. When you bet just $5 as a new customer, you instantly get $150 in bonus bets. That's right, just bet $5 and then boom, $150 in bonus bets. If you want to take advantage of this special offer, then download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and then sign up with my special promo code TUDGAMING. And for all my fellow bettors already in the DraftKings world, check this out, you've got the no sweat bet offer. Place your same game parlay or SGBX bet, and if it doesn't hit, no worries. You get a bonus bet back, with max reward limits of course. Then combine those bets for a chance to win an even bigger win, and Hey, if sports betting isn't available in your state yet, you can still dive into the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use my promo code TUDGAMING, bet your $5, and then snatch those $150 in bonus bets. Remember, that's promo code TUDGAMING with DraftKings Sportsbook. Don't wait one more second, get in on the action now. Alright, and here we go. How will Noob Saibot return in Mortal Kombat 1? I've come up with four different theories. And as mentioned earlier, all these possibilities do make a bizarre amount of sense. So without any further ado, let's get started. Theory number one, different timelines. Believe it or not, Noob Saibot has already interacted with Mortal Kombat 1 Scorpion in the new mobile game Mortal Kombat Onslaught. And the conversation between the two is quite funny. Scorpion is wondering how his brother died, and Noob Saibot is wondering why why his brother is wearing yellow. And I'm not joking, that's his number one concern. Why are you wearing the Shirai Ryu colors? Which is kind of funny, because Scorpion was already wearing that color before he defected from the Lin Kuei and formed the Shirai Ryu on his own. And because Kwai Liang is a good younger brother, his main concern is why is my brother a zombie? How did this happen? I'm creeped out. And of course, because it is a Mortal Kombat game, the two fight almost immediately and Scorpion is the victor, because he's the good guy. And even though I doubt this interaction is canon at all, it does prove that Netherrealm is still messing around with multiverse shenanigans. And as a result, it could be very possible that Noob Saibot in Mortal Kombat 1 is simply from a different timeline. That's all Netherrealm needs to justify his existence. Because let's be real, at the end of the day, Noob Saibot is a fan favorite character, so any excuse you have to get him in the game is a valid one. Next up, we have theory number two. Bihan dies in the story mode DLC. This possibility is very obvious, though I I hope sincerely that Netherrealm does not take this route, because Bihan has already been dead in most games, and having him stay alive is a fresh new idea that I want to see explored. But I digress, in case you're not aware, Ed Boon did already confirm that Story Mode is going to get a Part 2 in Mortal Kombat 1. There's going to be a Story Mode expansion as DLC. And then on top of that, he did say there'd be a huge twist reveal, which could be the return of Noob Saibot, possibly by killing Bihan. Even though Mortal Kombat 1 is doing a lot of new stuff, they're also retreading a lot of familiar ground, so it could be possible they just kill Bihan all over again to bring back Noob Saibot. Once again, I really hope they don't do this because having Bihan stay alive is a super interesting thing that's never been done in any Mortal Kombat game. In fact, if Bihan does anything in the new story mode, it should be winning and dominating a ton. I want to see what it looks like for the villain to finally start winning, mainly Bihan, because once again, he's never been allowed to do much of anything in a majority of the Mortal Kombat games, so just for once, I want to see what happens when Bihan succeeds while still alive. I know most of you watching have never played Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero, but in that game, Bihan is actually really cool and has great character development, and I want to see that come back. In fact, give him a new adventure with Serena. Have her and him do something cool in the story mode DLC. That would be incredible. But alright, it's time for theory number three. Noob Saibot is actually Scorpion this time, or Kwai Liang. This theory might be the craziest, but don't forget that Mortal Kombat 1 is a 
a new era where anything can happen. In fact, it's pretty obvious that the only reason the writers and developers at NetherRealm Studios reset the Mortal Kombat timeline was to try completely new ideas. For example, Tanya is a good guy now, Katana and Melina are sisters, Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers, you get the idea. New era means a bunch of new possibilities. Also, Natara is evil for some reason, but you get my point. The new era, the new reset has a bunch of new possibilities and NetherRealm is clearly trying new things. So it could be possible that this time Kwa Liang dies instead of Bi Han and then gets converted into the wraith we know as Noob Saibot. If you think there's no chance of that happening, don't forget the arcade ending where Hanzo Hasashi shows up. It is very possible that Kwa Liang could be killed off to become a Noob Saibot and then get replaced by Hanzo Hasashi who becomes the new Scorpion. Or technically the original Scorpion just again. <laughs> time travel is weird man, so is multiverse theory. If any of you watching are aspiring writers, my advice is to never do time travel because you get wonky goofy stuff like this. But once again, I digress. I hate the thought of Kwa Liang dying or Scorpion dying because he is the good guy, but I also don't think it's off the table and certainly could happen. Because don't forget all the crazy stuff that NetherRealm Studios has already done, both the good and the bad. Killing Scorpion could definitely happen to make room for Noob Saibot. Alright, and now finally, it's time for theory number four. Noob Saibot is a brand new character. Or at the very least, he's not a main character. Allow me to explain. Instead of killing off an existing character in Mortal Kombat 1 and possibly upsetting the fanbase of that character, NetherRealm simply makes a brand new character into Noob Saibot. This is, without a doubt, the safest way to bring the character back as DLC without upsetting anybody, so it's definitely a possibility of what NetherRealm could do. As mentioned earlier, both Scorpion and Sub-Zero have tons of potential in this new timeline, so killing them off could be an absolute waste. They may kill off Smoke though. That actually could happen. I just thought of this, it's not in my notes, and I'm scared at the possibility of it happening. They might just kill off Smoke and make him Noob Saibot. But okay, back on track. Noob Saibot is a brand new character. How could NetherRealm do this? How could it be done? Well, maybe he's a dead member of the Lin Kuei who gets corrupted by Quan Chi. That way, he's still very similar to Sub-Zero, since he was working for the Lin Kuei. The revenge motivation is still there as well, and because Quan Chi is already in Mortal Kombat 1, both the story and a playable character as DM, DLC, he definitely could be responsible for creating Noob Saibot yet again, only this time it's a different Lin Kuei member. Or in fact, it's very likely that Noob Saibot could be Bi Han's father, the former Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. I just thought about this and it's not on my notes, but how perfect would that be? We already know that Bi Han allowed his father to die, so the revenge aspect is there, and on top of that, the idea of Noob Saibot being a Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei sounds new and refreshing. Because keep in mind, Noob Saibot has has always been a villain that simply became more evil. So how much cooler would it be if instead he was a former hero that got corrupted by the darkness but still has the right intentions in mind? The idea of Noob Saibot trying to regain control of the Lin Kuei, even if it requires using evil means, sounds super interesting to me. Plus, how cool would it be for Bi Han having to confront the father he left to die and fight him in Mortal Kombat? That sounds so cool to me. Or for possibility number two, maybe Noob Saibot is just a random victim who died during a war he was a bystander not involved in the conflict but still got caught in the crossfire and died anyway. Once again, the revenge motive is definitely there, so this could work for Noob Saibot. And honestly, NetherRealm could just never explain Noob Saibot's appearance. He could have a completely unknown backstory that never gets explained and Noob Saibot is forever a mystery. I think some fans would definitely enjoy that. As you can already tell, the possibilities are endless for this theory, right? If Noob Saibot is a brand new character, NetherRealm could do pretty much anything with his origin. And honestly, if they did go that route, I don't think many fans would be upset, because at the end of the day, it's the gameplay that we love Noob Saibot for. Long before he even got a backstory, fans still loved him. Or maybe that's just me projecting my opinions, right? For me personally, gameplay always comes first, so even though Havoc's backstory and personality are completely wrong in Mortal Kombat 1, it doesn't really bother me that much because his gameplay is incredible and he's extremely fun to play with. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How do you think Noob Saibot is going to return in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you think his origin is going to be the exact same? Is NetherRealm going to kill off a different character? Or is Noob Saibot going to be a completely new character instead? Or will the writers get extremely lazy and just pull Noob Saibot from a different timeline similar to the climactic ending of story mode? Like I keep saying, and nobody believes me, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. For me personally,
personally, I think I'm gonna be happy no matter what. I just want Noob Saibot to return in Mortal Kombat 1 and have fantastic gameplay. As long as that requirement is met, I don't think I'm gonna care much if his origin is changed a little bit. Thank you so much to everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.